Finding a dummy plug a dumb idea, or maybe a smart one. Well, let's look into that. If you don't know what an HDMI or DisplayPort dummy plug is, it's essentially a small device that goes straight into your DisplayPort or HDMI port and tricks your computer into thinking that a display is connected to your computer and tells your computer to start displaying an image to it. You might be thinking, well, I need my computer to display something to a monitor that's not even there. It's not like I can see it. Well, there's the actual main reason to buy and use one of these so that when you need a remote to another computer without a dummy plug, the other computer will by default think that it doesn't need to display anything. So when you try to remote in, a few things might happen depending on the software that you're using. Either won't display anything like when using Moonlight or Parsec without a virtual display driver. It will display something, but the frame rate will be really low due to the computer trying to use a CPU to display something like when using Chrome Remote Desktop, or it will display properly within limits of the software like with Windows built-in remote desktop software or Parsec with the virtual display driver. Now, having a dummy plug just plugged into your computer does allow you to not have to worry about the software side of things, since if any of these detect that there is something to display to, they will try to do that and allow the GPU to properly display your desktop and any apps without having to worry about each piece of software, relying on a virtual display driver it may or may not have installed at that time. What they do allow you to is if you're connecting to the other computer on a device that only has one monitor, a lot of software allow you to choose which monitor or dummy plug you want to look at individually or depending on the software, looking at your Chrome remote desktop. Display all connected displays either across a single screen or across multiple monitors. So if you have three dummy plugs connected, you could potentially look at all three on a single screen. But what if we don't care about remoting into another screen? What else can we do? Well, if you plan on sharing a screen with another person and you only want to share certain information with them, you can share your extra monitor than either via the screen sharing software or with something like OBS. You can set up the extra display with things you don't necessarily need to be looking at yourself, like a PowerPoint presentation. That would be a little awkward since you would be looking at another display through a whole other monitor. Now what can they not do? These devices are not for wirelessly displaying to a TV or a monitor. If you plug this into your TV or Xbox or a console, Nothing is really going to happen, as you don't remote to these devices to control them. They can also not force any other remote desktop softwares to display more monitors if the software itself doesn't support it. So something like Moonlight, you can only display on one monitor at a time, even if you have multiple dummy plugs in at once. So with that, should you get one? No, probably not. If you're able to connect to your other computer, either temporarily with a monitor, mouse, and or keyboard, or one of the pieces of software that do either have a virtual display driver or work without one, but why? There is a neat piece of software that you can install from GitHub that is just called Virtual Display Driver, and installing it is pretty simple. First, if you're enjoying the content, like and subscribe for more tech content in the future. We're just going to go to their GitHub page from the website, download vdd.zip, unzip the folder, move the IDD sample driver folder to the root of your C drive, right click the .bat file in the folder, run it as an administrator. Once it's done, just hit enter. After that, we're gonna open up our device manager, click on display adapters, and click on action at the top, click on add legacy hardware, hit next, choose install the hardware I select manually, and next, then choose display adapters, and next, click the button saying have disk on the right, browse, and then click on the IDD sample driver.inf, and open it. Hit okay, next, next again, and once it's done, hit finish. Now we have a virtual display driver installed, which we can use as a replacement for one or more dummy plugs. Simply follow the process from before to add more if you need more displays installed. If you need less, you can always just right-click and uninstall from the device manager. Now I do want to add, if you decide you need more than one monitor on a device you might have physical access to, it might be the best to do one virtual display monitor and then the rest as dummy plugs, as plugging in and unplugging a dummy plug would be a lot faster than going and installing and uninstalling a whole other virtual display each time you need more or less monitors. But otherwise, that's about it for doing plugs. Do you think they have any use, or have I successfully convinced you that they are a pretty dumb idea? Let me know down in the comments.